Love you too. Alright guys, I'm at the start of the Goldfields track. Today I'll be completing the first section Eureka track, which is 44 kilometers to Creswick. I'm really excited, feeling pumped. The weather's beautiful, the sun is shining, it's not too hot, everything's good. Alright guys, let's check out that track. Absolutely stunning, like such a stunning spot. I feel like I'm ruining it speaking. Just this whole area is so luscious. Some of the wildlife that lives here, guys. white-throated tree creeper. Possums. Little bats. Got fire, fire tail finches. Currawongs, wrens. We've got tiny mouse. <laughs> and of course, black wallaby. For local snakes guys, we've got the eastern brown snake, the little whip snake, and the eastern tiger snake. I don't want to see any of those today. Hey guys, if you're into hiking, bushwalking, camping, backpacking, family through hikes, hit that subscribe button. So it's autumn in Australia. We've got beautiful leaves falling off the trees. How good is that? When my wife dropped me off this morning, I couldn't believe just how like villagey this whole area feels. Kind of like um, the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a real Lord of the Rings fan, but the town that they lived in, you know, it was all green, it was all lush. Um, and even the town I'm trekking to now, Baninyongs, has that kind of villagey feel. Look at this cow. 
having a good scratch. We're still descending from Mount Bunyong. We're going to be trekking through the town of Bunyong. Follow a creek all the way to Ballarat. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the descent from Mount Bunyong. Came from all the way up there. So we're coming up to the highway. The smell of eucalyptus here is intense. Actually smells like young living. Hearing the highway compared to hearing good old nature back there is like I can feel the stress of it all <laughs> seeping back into my body. The rush of life. That's where we are guys, Southern Cross, Australia. Woo! It's going to be really interesting to see what it's like going through like Bunanyong, the residential area, then trekking up through Ballarat and then entering into um, the Creswick forest areas. This track is really well signed. Like I'm, I'm actually really bad with directions. But um, yeah, it makes it pretty clear where to go. They've got these little posts with gold fields track on it. Little arrows telling you where to go. This is tiny little finches in this area and every time I try and catch one on camera it just flutters away. Gotcha. I don't know if that's a finch or a fantail, but man it is cute. Thank you. So far, every section of this trail does not disappoint. It is just amazing. So now I'm going to be like hiking through residential Bunyong, and feels good. This feels like a nice place. We'll pass an old lady. Just see. You look like a very serious walker. Puppies are left over from Anzac Day.
Sergeant R. G. Tyler died 18 of the second 43 Royal Australian Air Force. Well, we honour you today, Sergeant R. G. Tyler. Thank you for fighting for us. giving us the freedom that we have today. Alright. Totally out of the woods. We're heading into the center of Bunyong. Here it is guys. Town Alright guys, so that was the top of Mount Bunanyong to Bunanyong Town Ship Center and I'm going to be smashing it this way Ballarat, so stop walking as <laughs> slow as I was, and um, yeah, so I'm going to be smashing the trail this way all the way through to Ballarat where I'll charge my phone and smash the forest to Creswick all the way to Creswick. Do you reckon we'll be able to spot one of these on the trail? <laughs> Maybe we'll spot one of these. Pretty much just walk along <laughs> the side of the highway and there isn't a whole lot to say about this section of the track. The road walking is pretty much just what road walking is when you walk along the side when you walk along the side of the road. So this is, this part of the video is pretty much for my own entertainment. Um, yeah, that's a past Federation University in Mount Helen. So I was walking behind this old woman for like five minutes and I was trying to catch her. But my staff was making that noise. She said, ha ha ha, I wonder what that noise was. I thought it was a frog. And I said, no. Hey. I said, no. That was me from 10 kilometers away. So we've said goodbye to the highway and now I'm going to be commencing the Canadian Creek Trail. And it's, it's going to be good because this is the part where we follow that same creek all the way up to Ballarat.
No, it's only a pigeon. But when you're in residential. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's such a cool bird. What is that? Really, really skinny bird. So see how you got the mountain bike trail. You've also got the hiking trail over here. So you can complete this trail doing either. So I think originally this, the Goldfields trail, the Goldfields track was for hiking. And then they developed it into a mountain biking trail. So this is an, a really awesome trail, guys. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. Like, I'm, I'm looking forward to going through Ballarat because I just I love getting out into the forest, into the woods. Um, I really enjoyed hiking through down the summit of Mount Bunignon. That was just beautiful, like just majestic really. Yeah, so this is like, this is a cool part of the trail. I think it would be better if you were maybe mountain biking through it. But this is the start of a very long trail. Um, I've read reviews that the hike from Dales, us from Castlemaine through to Bendigo is really good and Dalesford through to um, Castlemaine is really good. It's actually Castlemaine, just so we're all clear. Because I'm kind of New Zealand. Er. <laughs> but I know people from Castlemaine call it um, an abandoned bike. But yeah, people from Castlemaine, they call it Castlemaine. But it's actually council. Yeah, so still walking the trails. I'm gonna have to stop in Ballarat for an hour and charge my phone, which is what I use for all of my recordings. I use the Samsung Note 10 and man it creates like some really really good footage every video I've made on my channel is is made with recorded on it's recorded on the Samsung note so so yeah I learned a pretty big lesson today about which side of the Z pack staff I sh shouldn't use and it's uh, this side this staff it's it's 60 inches. Um, and I'm going to have it extended to 72 inches because that will then be compatible to use with um, my tent, which I've been waiting for for like two and a half months. The Mountain Laurel, 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 Mountain Laurel Designs Super Mid, which is a four to five person tent and I'll be using that on the TRAOA trail um, which I'm going to commence in October my wife and two little girls so yeah I guess part of this this 210 k's is getting ready for that trail um, but also like getting my little ones ready because they are, uh, I mean, they've done hiking. My five-year-old's done up to like eight kilometers, but we're gonna go out for a full day. In fact, the next section, the next episode of this hike will be 
a hike with me and uh, Daisy Lane. So she's turning five this week. And yeah, next week we'll be completing the trail from um, Creswick to Castle Main. So yeah, looking forward to looking forward to doing that with her. I bought her this really cool um, this really cool hiking dress, this Nike hiking dress, because every time I get her ready for for hikes, she um, she hates wearing t-shirts. She hates wearing um, shorts or um, like like pants because she's like, I don't want to look like a boy. So I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna get her a little a pink. I got her a pink hiking dress so she can wear a hiking dress on trail, and it's got like the Nike tip all over it. Um, so she'll be wearing wearing that next next week on the trail. All right. So I've arrived in a place called Canadian. I love these little birds. There are a lot of these at St. George's Lake. Here's yeah, some teenage swans. Here's Mama or Papa Swan. So I'm just passing this day spa and it's part of the Goldfields track. So it's Mercure, Mercure Day Spa and it's, it's very, very nice. All right guys, so three and a half k's out of Ballarat and yeah, looking forward to stopping. That'll mark 22 kilometers. After stopping, having charged my electronic devices, I'll be commencing the track from Ballarat into the Creswick Regional Park. Well, I'll say right off the bat, it's pretty cool starting at the top of a mountain, actually an extinct volcano for that matter. This track is so like woodsy, you know, with the grass, the beautiful gum trees.
Alright guys, so the weather has taken a bit of a turn, um, I'm all charged up, ready to go. And the plan at this stage is to smash it out of Ballarat and get all the way um, up through Black Hill, up through Brown Hill and into more of a um, communal park area and then on to um, yeah, at the side of a lake. So we're pretty much going to be smashing it for the next hour and a half because we've got a fair hike to go um, and we've got a lot of caves to cover. track we're doing guys the Eureka Trail <laughs> that's the kind of hill you don't want to be rolling down Frogs, water birds, and parrots.
Hey, that's the bird I like. Dusky Moorhen. Oh no, that's the bird. Eurasian Coot. Cute. The Eurasian Cute. Coot is cute. comes the rain just now here comes the tunnel crossing the western freeway Alright, finally in the bush guys, and it's definitely spinning, but the forest is providing a, a sufficient cover for that, almost to the lake, and this is a really, it's been a really peaceful part of the track actually, even though we've been moving through the northern residential areas of Ballarat um, it's been nice it's really starting to um, it's really starting to rain now man the day started out really sunny cracker of a day man this hike has just been so um, diverse you know the whole the whole way through um, Yeah, so a little bit worried how this is going to impact my filming. Um, because I might have to take the camera out of the gimbal and put that away. But that's alright. Getting rained on from above. Gonna push on to the river, guys. Oh, to the, gonna push on to the lake, guys. And I'm um, gonna catch up with you then. Alright, folks, things are about to get fun. The rain has stopped, it's made the track really muddy and the sun is fading real fast and I've got about I don't know maybe two and a half hours to get to Creswick before complete sundown And I've got a money track and a real track, <laughs> a real bush track to get through. So, same plan, not even at that lake yet, but time to smash it 
and get this done. Alright guys, so I've had a hot meal, um, starting to drizzle a little bit, but I've got my semi-wet down jacket on and I'm going to smash out the rest of this hike, pretty much, get it finished, um, made it to where I wanted to be, got out of the residential areas, so I'm going to be trekking through the forest, got my light ready to go, yep, let's make it happen.
All right, guys. So definitely on last light. I've got a just a camp light ready to get me home. So I'll be using that for probably the last 30 minutes of this trail. Got my hanky. It's actually a towel, <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe it'll be good to use as a hanky. Um, to keep the sweat off my face, keep it warm. Yep, pretty much on the home stretch, guys. Um, hearing a lot of noises in the dark. Um, I saw this herd of kangaroos, and I swear to God, one was like, I don't know if it was a black wallaby um, or another black animal, but I've been on the lookout today for some black cats. Haven't seen one. Um, yeah. Also, also should note, guys, that. Um, also, should note, guys, that I've put the gimbal away because uh, I just want to focus on hiking and yeah, feeling good. Really happy that I've done this hike. One of the things that I find a little bit silly about the track is, like, that's the road, right? That's the biking track, which is pretty much just straight. And then they'll have these little off tracks to make you zigzag all the way through the bush, and then they just rejoin you up to the road. Like, see what I mean? So it's like it's telling me now to go this way, to go that way through the bush <laughs> but then sometimes you've got like you know, a stretch of a kilometer or two so you know, sometimes you feel like maybe just cruising along the bike track would be good Jesus it's the last thing you want <sighs> big kangaroo Wanting a fight after a 44 kilometer hike. Oh, All right, guys. So, about 45 minutes to go. Track. Still a little bit of light in the distance, not much. We got some electric blue skies. The darker it gets, the better I can see. All right, guys. So this will be the last video from me. Got about 45 minutes to go. I'm um, picking up the pace. So I want to get the hell out of here and get back to my nice warm bed at home. Guys, if you're watching this all the way to the end, that means you're either a subscriber. Thank you for being one of my subscribers. If you're watching this for the first time, then I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell because next week I'll be commencing the next section of this track girl Daisy Lane probably over a couple of days and yeah really looking forward to that and as always guys have a great day in this case have a great night <laughs>